Dora Rivas is, is the director of the food service in the Dallas Independent School District in Dallas, Texas. Dora is, is a registered dietitian and credentialed in, in school food nutrition specialist, and she has been employed in the food service industry for nearly 30 years. Mr. Chairman, Mr. McLean, thank you very much for the opportunity to participate in this important hearing. I am Dora Rivas, the vice president of the School Nutrition Association. I am appearing here today in the capacity as the executive director for the Child Nutrition Service Program for the Dallas Independent School District. And I am here to address the Hallmark Westland meat recall and how the recent recall has affected us in Dallas, Texas. Our system is large and we have more than 215 schools. The magnitude of the recent beef recall has been a learning experience for USDA, Food Safety and Inspection Service, and all of us involved in responding to such an event. Food service directors across the country had the biggest challenge of, of taking prompt action and also had the direct responsibility of staying current on an evolving situation while at the same time assuring parents that the school meals are safe and healthy for their children. Since the hold recall process started in January and until all of the products are properly removed, we will be traveling uncharted territory and making sure that we obtain all of the information from all sources that are available to us. I personally look daily at the school nutrition website, newspaper, and watch for every email that had the subject title of beef recall to make sure I didn't miss anything. The greatest challenge was keeping up with the evolving magnitude of holding product subject uh, to the food recall. First learned from the School Nutrition Association website that the product being placed on hold was fine ground beef and processed products containing A608 fine ground beef from Westland. Not having the product in stock, we informed our communications department with Dallas ISD that we did not have any of the product in question on our inventory. On February 5th, we received further notice from the TDA State Commodity Office that the recall included A594 bulk beef, which we did have and had diverted to advanced foods to convert to ground beef into crumbles and steak fingers. We did have that product in stock. We held our breath waiting for further instructions and then were made aware on February 17th, 17th, a Sunday, that the USDA Food Safety and Inspection Service had released an announcement indicating Class II recall by Hallmark Westland Meat Packing Company. On February the 19th, the SNA website had information on the recall in question, and on February the 20th, two days later, we received an urgent USDA recall message from the TDA Regional Service Center. On the 21st, the Texas Department of Agriculture provided additional guidance on disposal uh, of the recall and some Q&A on the reimbursement of expenses. It is, was unfortunate that the press release information went out to public before official information and instructions arrived to food service directors via USDA and state communications, allowing little time to prepare for media and public response. Providing information to school districts first and then providing press release on action would have been a better situation for us. Having gone through the process, however, a major recall now gives us all the opportunity to reflect and develop formal detailed instructions for proper handling, disposal, disposal and reimbursement for future uh, incidents. On Monday, February the 18th, after the public release, our staff immediately began reviewing the codes to see what was on our shelves. By February 22nd, we were able to pull more than 2,500 cases of product, changed menu, and made the delivery adjustments. It must be emphasized that to make an adjustment in a school district the size of Dallas is no small feat. Regular routes had to be set aside so that trucks could be dispatched to go to all 200 schools and gather any product at school freezers immediately. Over 2,000 cases had to be sorted, separated from regular stock, and many safeguards had to be taken to ensure that there was no potential for accidentally pulling recalled product. Our school meals have an exceptional safety record. We have not had a foodborne illness in Dallas ISD and many schools across the country. A greater emphasis on the safeguards schools utilize to ensure safe food is provided to student customers would have been a great benefit to our programs. Concerned parents called our office seeking reassurance. We have a HACCP program in place and all of our cafeteria supervisors are Surf Safe certified. 
HACCP uh, systems are a comprehensive approach to food safety that follows the flow of food through a food service operation to eliminate and reduce the risk of foodborne hazards. Among these procedures are examinations of foods as they are received by the kitchen, and we use proper cooking and holding temperatures to ensure food is safe. In addition to the focus on the potential risk, this would have been a great opportunity to receive support from USD and states to educate the public on all of our safeguards in place. Currently, we are, we are sorting out the costs. On February 21st, we received reassurance that we would be reimbursed for uh, some of our expenses. Our reimbursable costs are over 114000 some of the non-reimbursable expenses we have incurred are overtime costs and administrative expenses. The district will have to absorb these costs. And some school, school, small school districts will have difficulty absorbing the costs due to having being reimbursed at a later time. This concludes my testimony, and I would be glad to answer any questions.